everybody. Welcome back to our Creative Addiction and Recovery Daily Devotional Series. So we're in Job this week, and we've been there for the past couple weeks, and we've been studying different aspects of this book, the beginning chapters that we're in. And today we're picking up in chapter 16, and we're going to be doing verses 6 through 10. Yet if I speak, my pain is not relieved, and if I refrain, it does not go away. Surely, God, you have worn me out. You have devastated my entire household. You have shriveled me up, and it has become a witness. My gauntness rises up and testifies against me. My opponent fastens on me his piercing eyes. People open their mouths to, je to jeer at me. They strike my cheek in scorn and unite together against me. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is another heavy one, you guys, but I don't know about you, but for me, I really relate to this. Um, when I was in my Kratom addiction and recovery process, um, you know, there were times where I felt this way. You know, he says, yet if I speak, my pain is not relieved. And if I refrain, it does not go away. Surely, God, you have worn me out. Um, and then it goes on to talk about, uh, you have shriveled me up and it has become a witness. My gauntness rises up and testifies against me. Man, if that's not like a perfect illustration of like what it's like to just be completely lost in, in this addiction, in Kratom addiction, and to have lost a bunch of weight. And I don't know about you guys, but for me, like I hit this point because I was just like not able to function socially when I was in my addiction. And so I would like whenever I would go out and try to do anything or be in public in any way, like people just didn't know how to interact with me because like, you know, people vibe, you know, people like if you're if you're anxious, people pick up on that. If you're uncomfortable, people pick up on that. And so it was really hard for people to understand or relate to me when I was in this place. And so this, this, these, these verses uh, really resonated for me. And, you know, this is Job when Job is, is talking with his friends and like talking about the struggles that he's going through. And um, this, this is something that like, I feel like a lot of us, I know that I did, but a lot of us go through that. Like, you know, when we start getting into the depths of this addiction, it affects us physically, mentally, you know, socially with how we relate to other people. And like how it starts out, like, you know, yet if we speak, our pain is not relieved. And if we refrain, it does not go away. You guys, the pain and the suffering from this addiction is is real. And it may not affect some people as hard as it did me. I hear in the comments section all the time of, you know, people who are advocating for Kratom and you know, they're saying that, that, you know, they've never gone through this. And I do think that Kratom has its benefits for some people in some circumstances, and I'm not denying that. But for those of us who get into this addiction and into the depths of this addiction, you know, the pain is real and the suffering is real. And these verses really illustrate that, um, you know, and, and, I don't know about for you guys, but for me, and I have heard it from some people, but there's this really weird way that Kratom affected my mind. And I've heard that other people go through it too, where we get, um, I guess the right word is like, we get hyper paranoid of other people and we think that other people are out to get us. And we look at other situations and conflicts and like stuff that's going on in our lives. And we hyper focus on like what other people are doing wrong. You know, I got really into like conspiracy theories at the time and like I would like hyper focus on like, you know, all the wrong and the evil that was in the world and just like hyper fixate on it. And so I don't know what it is about Kratom that makes some of us do that, but it does. And like, you know, it, this these verses kind of illustrate it where like, you know, it talks about like people being against us and stuff. And so like, what's the point of this? Why are we bringing this up? And why did we choose it out of all of these different chapters and verses that we're in right now? 
you know, the point of it is to shine light on it. Like I was saying, you know, here on this channel, we encourage and we uplift, but like we also take a look at the really hard parts of this addiction. And that's what today is about is we're looking at this. We're looking, you know, at the pain. Um, you know, we're looking at the state of minds that we get into when we get in, in the dark parts of this addiction. And so I encourage you to, to look at this clearly today and that, you know, for me, I pray for God to shine his light of truth into my life, to reveal to me what it is that I need to know. And then I can learn and grow from it and become a better person. So I encourage you today to, to ask God to do that for you as well, to shine his light of truth into your life, into this addiction and reveal to you what it is that you need to, to know so that you can learn and grow from it. And um, today's devotional is going to be on the shorter side, but um, it's something that can have a lot of uh, a lot of meditating and a lot of thinking and pondering on your end. And I encourage you to do that because this is an aspect of our addiction and recovery process that is not easy to, to look at. But like when we can shine light into the darkness that is this addiction, that is what helps us to change. That is what helps us to see what we need to see so that we can, you know, change and move forward and learn and grow from it. So I encourage you to let us know how you're doing in the comment section. And I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.